It was on Tuesday, the 22nd August 2017, whilst in the gardener's hut on the hills of Aripo, Mario called me and said, we found him. I asked, is he alive? It seems as though the heavens distorted the answer to give me a few more seconds of hope. I ask again, alive or dead? The answer sent me in, in uncontrollable tears of grief. His daughter-in-law who was there also found no comfort for my hand. Death is one journey we all share. Yes, one journey we all share. No one, no one, no one has escaped it. We can provide for our loved ones against all ills. We can build great fortresses. We can install the best cameras, systems, the best safety guidelines. But as far as death is concerned, we live in a city without walls. We will die. It's one line viewed from different sides. We bring to bear sorrow upon life by thoughts about death and so fail to live because we wonder what will become of us after by the way we live. The certainty of death is as certain as the coming of the dawn. But if we should think constantly of death, the business of life would stand still. What should be our greatest concern? There are things inside of us that should be dead but alive. We need to die to hatred, envy, gossip, and holy anger, and the list can go on and on. These things we need to die of before we die and start to live. We wish to remember Richard this day for his caring spirit and a man who make and a man who many testify saying one who gets the job done, a man of action. He departed in an activity he loved and we wish him well. We grieve, yes, but we do not grieve like those who have no hope. And we rejoice because we do something that we enjoy. Everyone say, hey, hey. hey. Oh, a few minutes.